Her influence wanes. Her followers dwindle by the day. Kabiha is a great woman, Farah. <laughs> she was, while Al Mutawakil lived. But her son did not succeed him, and her time has come and gone. When the tide ebbs, will you be swept with it to the sea? I do not like to get involved in politics, Nasreen. Please. We know what you are. Enough! The new eunuchs will be arriving any minute. Meet them at the gate, Makira, and try not to make a mess of it. Come, Nasreen. New servants mean new faces in the harem. If I had a eunuch's uniform, I could slip in among them. I need your help, my friend. That man seems happy to bask in the sun. Perhaps I should spare him the trouble of dressing for duty. No, no, no! Give that back! We will all be naked on Judgment Day, brother! Tight across the chest. And gut. Hopefully this will work. Tamahel! Do I know you? I doubt you would. This is my first day. I would hate to be late. Makira! Assalamu alaikum! You know him, Makira? Um, uh, I... What? You have forgotten me already! No, no, I... I'm sorry, it has been a long... That is all right, fair one. My face is quite forgettable. Unlike your own. Farah is expecting me. Between us, she terrifies me. Please do not make me late for her. Let him in, Abbas. Barakallahu fiki, Sayyidati. Just room. It must be Kabiha's. What are you doing? Makira! I was just... Breaking into Kabiha's office? You are no eunuch. Leave now or I'll tell Nasreen. I'll tell Farah. Tell them what? That you let me in here? I cannot imagine they will be pleased about that. You are a kahramana, no? You serve the concubines every need. When is the last time someone asked what you needed? Someone who would not judge. Someone you could forget was ever here. There must be something you need, Makira. Or want. There is something. Abbas at the gate. He... He has eyes for Farah, the Ummu Walad. 
He doesn't look at me. But Farah uses a paint to make her eyes bigger. And if I could have some, I think he might... Say no more. I am at your service. Where can I find this paint? The storage room, but no one is allowed in. Apart from Nasreen. Farah trusts her with everything, even her magic potion. Farah has a magic potion? She has Nasreen carry it. Tells her when she wants a sip. It makes her breath foul. Still, I'd give anything to try it myself. And so you shall. And in exchange, Makira, what will you give me? The key to that office. I paint and magic potion. Your wish is my command. I paint and magic potion. Seriously? Argises, Buison, Ifarathaine Exali. Sorry, that was Greek to me. to my disguise. No, focus, Basim. You need that key. So what is this magic potion? Ah, I see. Alcohol. Perfect timing! I need an honest opinion on my poem. I'm having trouble with the 23rd stanza. What is a stanza? Never mind, Philistine. Why do I need to learn algebra? I am never going to need it. You! Tell me you have read al -Kindi. I am sorry, Sayyidati. Hey, does no one read anymore? Here you are. The others say I'm too young for paints and potions. But I'm not too young to know why they use such things. Of course not. Now the key. They only know more than me because they've all read this book. The garden and its mysteries. It's all about biology, the body, its secrets. It is quite infamous. Have you read it? No. Farah keeps it in the Khalifa's quarters. They're on the roof and strictly forbidden. Makira. We had an agreement. Please, if you could just get the book and bring it to my room. It's in the east corner on the left. Oh, fine. But then the key. Paint, potion. Now she has me fetching body books. I meant to play a servant, not be one.
sir. Oh, no. me fetching body books. I meant to play a servant, not be one. Sir, are you lost? You cannot be here. Quarters fit for a Khalifa. garden and its mysteries. Not much spice to the title. I guess that was the idea.
Abu Abdullah's ambition knows no bounds. Well, Farah, he cannot still believe he will take the throne. Have you met his mother? You. Kabiha might have been lax about lateness, but I am not so lenient as she. I am sorry, Farah. It will not happen again. Farah? To you, she's Sayyidati. Or Ummu Walad. Go about your duties. There you are. Enjoy. Let us hope she does not come up with any more tasks. I think I have created a monster. The book is in your room. Now... So? Are my eyes bigger? Huge. Makira, I need the key. This portion, it... It gives you confidence. I feel like I could take on the world. Yes, I am familiar with this potion. We had a bargain, Makira. The key. Now. Wait. You have to return the potion to Nasreen. If Farah finds out it's gone, she'll be furious. Then the key is yours, I swear. Fine. Drink some water while I am gone, will you please? This is the last time, Basim. Put your foot down. Back where you belong. The potion is put back. All is right in the world. Now I will get that key from Makira if I have to pry it from her hands. It is done. I am done. Thank you. Funny, I have a bit of a headache. What happens now? You give me the key. Oh, right. Um... You do not have it. You are afraid of Kabiha. What? No, no. Her star is fallen. They all say it. It's just... I was having fun. Here it is. Finally. Now to find my answers. I remember this perfume. I smelled it in the bazaar, and perhaps in the harem, but on who? A hairpin. Nings. When did Qabiha get it? Harib's poems, the ocean, the desert, the cobra, and the dove. A map of the Khilafa and Alamut. Yet for its grandeur, the room is all but empty. Things look to be missing, including Qabiha herself. What is this? What did you give her? She always drank from it. She asked me to give it to her. It's harmless. You call this harmless, Nasreen? You should go. Now, give me the key. What happened to her? Me. You really shouldn't have left me alone with that flask. I'll search the rooms. You with uh, me. I did nothing. I did not hurt her. What did you do? Relax. No one is looking at us. They will be far too busy with the book they find in Nasreen's room. Nasreen's room? The garden and its mysteries. Nothing body, just the study of native herbs, their properties medicinal, poisonous, cosmetic. Belladonna, deadly nightshade. It does make the eyes look lovely in small doses. Same, I had to waste it all on her. What? 
You saw them. Farah and Nasreen, dripping poison in everyone's ear, spreading lies and rumors about my mistress. Kabiha. One dead, the other disgraced. No one will hear them now. Yes, Yala. What are you? Loyal. In Kabiha's absence, I defend her throne from those who would supplant her. Her office is empty. She has abandoned you, Makira. You serve a faithless mistress. She will return from the palace when the danger has passed. You really should not have told me that. It makes no difference. You will never find her. Now, play nice. There are children present. Nice uniform, by the way. Suits you. I can do nothing for Farah. But if Kabiha is the head of the Order, I could still spare those who have yet to suffer at her hands. This is the place. You're dead! Pay attention to your man! Coward! Turn and fight! Got you! Oh! 
What the? <laughs> Signs of a struggle. There was violence here. Though probably not deadly violence. These marks on the ground suggest someone was dragged away. A kidnapping, perhaps. Most likely the delegate was taken somewhere nearby. I must find him before it is too late. Most likely the delegate was taken somewhere nearby. I must find him before it is too late. Nothing can hide from us, Enkidu. There is my target. Here is the spot. was necessary. <sighs> About time. Promptness is clearly not your strong suit. Are you injured? No. I always grimace when I'm having fun. The danger has passed. They were keeping you alive for a reason. It seems the perfume trader you killed was not the mastermind behind all this. Instead, they intended to bring me to the person he reported to. Though for what reason, I do not yet know. Whatever the reason, that meeting would have ended badly for you. Which is why I'm grateful for your intervention. Belated though it was, now I must go.
but I will contact you soon. What beautiful homes, far different from the slums of Anbar. Be my eyes. <sighs> Let us hope she is home. from my guests. This is my house. Bought with my generosity. Bought by my genius. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayyida Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers. And just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Sayyidi. Enough, Sayyidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows? She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care.
foolish nicknames, secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the post... ...may reveal more. Let us see what mask you wear, poetess. The postal bureau. I will do as the Ruyun do. Sift through strangers' mail and sniff out conspiracies. You may not enter this hour. Getting to the point, I think we should insist. What? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Uh. I'm going to squash you, spider. Hold on.
must be mail here from every corner of the Khilafah. Now to find Aribs. Silence your song of sin, or I will do it for you. How kind. Moving on. Dearest Arib, your poetry has touched me deeply. You are my oasis, lush and yearl of After the honey drips from her lips, a Thaleb leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Harib could be a Thaleb. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. Abu Abdullah is the true Khalifa and will soon reclaim his stolen throne. I will leave this one for the Uyun. Please note that your payment of 15 dinars is overdue and must be... No. I will go to the garden, give Athala her letter, and follow where she goes. As the death of power, be you ocean, desert, cobra, dove, all shapes and humors will I embrace. Hello there. Have we met? Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite and I never leave a mark. <laughs> it seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? 
I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come a reap. We will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone! How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Sayida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. Harib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalam to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Harib is not lost to me yet. How far will the fox flee? What do you see, Enkidu? Yet another painted mouse. Really? I like mine. What kept you? What do you think? Not again. You should bring him before the Madalin court. But he thinks only of my reputation, Sarah. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by stricter or statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners, so many men have tried to decide my enemies. <laughs> and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly, he hid himself well, and a poet needs patrons, even one so great as Al-Talab. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. 
I have survived six caliphs. I will survive... Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. Secret meetings. Coded names. There is no trace of the order here. Still, she has her pick of patrons. Maybe the head of the order is not Arib herself, but an admirer. I have seen enough from my three suspects. Time to seek Roshan's counsel and end this once and for all. Have you investigated your three suspects? If not, then your work is not complete. You appear decided, Basim. What have you learned? Arib is innocent. The governor less so. He made a deal with the Order and removed his cousin's protection from Alamut. Tabban. Just as we had feared. We've been bare to our enemies. Yes. In exchange for Abu Abdullah's renouncing his claim to the throne. He seized his crown to suit the order, led by his mother. Gabiha is the head of the snake. Where is she now? Fled to the palace. If we act now, we can spare Alamut. Give me the feather, master. Gabiha will meet swift justice, and I will be the one to deliver it. What? What are you saying? That a more seasoned hand is needed. The last time you entered a palace, you left it in disarray, to put it lightly. Have I not proven myself since? Master, I have earned the right! Earned what? The right to kill? No, no, that is not... A blow from one of us is a blow for all of us. Or does your ego demand the honor? It is not ego, Master. It is duty. I took an oath to leave my life behind, to walk the shadows and to serve the light. I mean to. Tabiha is more dangerous than her underlings. Strike quickly and end this. Do not hesitate. Blood from a stone. Who is she to keep you from Kabiha, or to tell you when to strike? My master and mentor, without whom I would be nothing but a corpse in the streets of Anbar. You spy on me now? Always. So you will swallow your questions, strike at her enemies, serve without complaint. And live your life dogged by El Jinni in the hovel you once hoped to escape. You know where to find me when your duty is done. So many dead or disappeared, and each trail of blood leads back to you, Al Bahamut, the last mask to be lifted. You set Wasif on the rebels, unleashed Al Ghul, sold your son's crown to seize Alamut. And all for what? 
Some worthless token of a long-forgotten age. No matter. I will see you at the palace. And I will cut the head from the snake. <laughs>